Hello networking people, welcome to my channel One Hour Networking. Uh, my name is Esam Munir Afifi. Uh, I have uh, graduated 2013 uh, in uh, communication and software engineering. Uh, I just get certified in CCIE, routing and switching, uh, written exam. I have certification also in uh, CCNA, routing and switching. and. Uh, uh, in CCNB routing and switching. Uh, somebody would say, well, who's that crazy who will run routing protocol over, uh, over uh, private VLANs? Well, I don't know what's the need for that, but uh, this is the, the, uh, uh, the way that you can uh, run uh, these uh, or any routing protocol over private VLANs. Uh, those are uh, the most specific or let's say uh, the hardest routing protocol to run over private VLANs uh, what uh, what may be the way or the need for uh, run routing protocol over uh, private VLANs uh, like let's say if we have uh, if you are a company and you have contract with a service provider to provide you uh, layer 2 VPN over uh, MPLS over uh, uh, MPLS uh, network uh, so you have uh, three sites one site is the hub two sites are spokes so this hub will be uh, your promiscuous port so the VLAN you are uh, connected to is a private VLAN. Uh, the hub will be a promiscuous port. Two spokes will be in host uh, pri VLAN, pri uh, private VLAN host. So this will be uh, our topology. We have the switch. Uh, the switch is, uh, this is a layer three switch, uh, 3560. It's awesome switch. I love it so much. Uh, uh, this uh, will, uh, will uh, create a private VLAN uh, three uh, 350, 351. Uh, uh, 350 will be the primary VLAN and 351 will be our uh, isolated VLAN. So anybody in this isolated VLAN uh, cannot communicate with anybody in this VLAN, uh, in, in, uh, in this VLAN, in this VLAN in host mode, but he can uh, reach anybody in promiscuous mode. So we have R1, R2, R3, R4, and the switch. Uh, unfortunately, private VLAN, or fortunately, private VLAN will change everything uh, we know about VLANs because a private VLAN will destroy uh, our. Uh, our und understanding to VLANs because you don't have something like uh, let's say uh, uh, subnets so we have all in the same subnet but they can't communicate with each other they are in the same subnet in the same VLAN but they can't communicate with each other so the final result because R1 in a promiscuous mode uh, and R2, R3, R4 are isolated so they can just reach R1 so R1 will be just like hub and spoke in frame relay topology uh, to understand uh, to fully understand uh, the overall uh, scenario you just remember everything about uh, frame relay so let's jump in uh, here we have R1, R2, R3, R4 and the layer th 3 switch. They are connected, uh, R1 connected to uh, 0.17 and uh, the others uh, are down to uh, 0.13, fast ethernet 0.13. So uh, let's go to the configuration mode. Uh, I have created uh, the VLANs just for uh, the redundancy let's say VLAN 351 which is a private VLAN isolated and uh, 352 if you need it will uh, just stay here if you need it in the future 
you only just to uh, assign ports to it so this will be community and we have 350 uh, will be our private VLAN uh, this is will be the primary which is the make the uh, mapping between the uh, those ports or those uh, VLANs so the primary is the master and the isolated uh, community are VLANs inside our primary VLAN so we need also to say private VLAN say association association what association 351 352 oh, sorry uh, so we end uh, creation and uh, configuration of the VLANs let's jump into interface fast Ethernet 013 uh, interface 013 we are uh, we uh, we will configure it as a switch port node uh, private VLAN we see host or promiscuous we need it to be the host so host and switch port uh, a private VLAN now we say the host this host is associated with which VLAN host association with the VLAN 350 this is the primary 351 done and we jump in 14 this is host association 15 this is the host this is association 16 oh we don't need 16 because nothing uh, is attached really to 16 uh, we have just uh, three uh, routers but uh, uh, 16 no matter we don't care 17 now this is the uh, the interface connected to R1. So switch port, node, private VLAN, promiscuous. This is the hub. Switch port, private, private VLAN. What? This is the port. Uh, we have uh, this port will do the uh, the mapping. So the mapping between the VLANs. So we will be in uh, primary VLAN and 351, 352. Sorry. So we end just what uh, we did is just we uh, configure the network and physical layer, data link layer. So we have now uh, two uh, again we just configure it to be ready to our layer 3 topology uh, sorry so uh, let's begin with R2 Con uh, say show IP route nothing so uh, this is the uh, uh, this is the uh, loopback in interface that we will test uh, and we will advertise by using the routing protocol and we'll test connectivity using the ping uh, command so router VIGRP1 no auto summary uh, network everything um, that's all configure sorry show IP route nothing router EIGRP 1 no auto sorry network everything uh, show IP route uh, configure terminal so this is the loopback interface uh, router EIGRP one no auto network so mm, here we just configure the spokes now let's configure the main router so show IP route uh, let's forget about that 10.1.50.0 uh, okay it's just for management 
because I uh, remotely connected to this uh, router not uh, just like the other routers uh, and remotely connected to, to the switch uh, so <coughs> uh, if we make uh, configure terminal and uh, router EIGRD 1 network 10.100.100 dot uh, this is will be 1 so this 0 0 0 0 2 5 5 uh, and network sorry 1.1.1.1.0.0.0.255 let's exit now we'll configure interface FA 0-0 IP address 10.100.100.1.255.255.255.0 and we forget to configure the interface uh, connected which is FA00 IP address 10.100.100.255.255 because it's, it's 1.4 so uh, interface FA00 we need to make them all in the same uh, subnet uh, to make our uh, topology or our network uh, up and running interface FA 0-0 IP address this is the last one uh, sorry if you if I get you bored last thing uh, yeah full reachability full connectivity now um, let's uh, show IP route and see well R1 will have uh, the full view of the topology or uh, the network but let's look at let, uh, let's look at uh, R2 we see that R2 just uh, see R1's loop back uh, nothing else sorry you can see that uh, this will make uh, we have uh, extra one here so we just missed something no auto and uh, here just zero Let's look now at R1, R2. Mm. Mm, still, so R1. reconfigure it because we don't have uh, a lot of networks here sorry yes now we see that R1 loops back is showing an R2 routing an R2's routing table. Uh, let's see here show IP route. Great. Show IP route. 
you can see that uh, we don't have in the spokes more than the two uh, loopbacks interfaces of uh, his own uh, loopback interface and the spoke uh, and the hub uh, loopback interface why this behavior is happened or why this uh, this happened for our network because uh, the uh, fast ethernet 00 interface will be uh, will be uh, in ib uh, split horizon so he will not advertise the routes received in this interface again so i received this network in this interface i will not advertise the same network in the same interface to to uh, this is uh, this is of course uh, just prevent routing loops uh, what should we do to fix this problem because we don't have routing loops because we have the layer 2 is the private VLANs so IP split horizon EIGRP if you say no IP split horizon just only you will disable split horizon for RIP you need to add EIGRP1 now let's look at R2's routing protocol uh, routing uh, table you can see that we have all the routes in place but can you ping R4 loopbacks interface unfortunately no why let's just take a look at show IP route to 4044.0 you can see uh, from here that uh, our ones who's uh, uh, the next top interface uh, because in R1 also we have this command done for us uh, IP uh, next top self EIGRP1 if we disable this if we say no we'll uh, resync all uh, of our uh, neighbors but look let's say what happened oops look at this but fortunately but fortunately that we have uh, this uh, uh, this uh, command is uh, done for us by itself so thanks for next stop self EIGRP of one now what we need to do is look at this if we look at that uh, we can see that uh, this is from R1 uh, so what happened everything looks perfect the problem not here the problem is in R4 if we show IP route you can see that uh, we have the route uh, we will route the traffic from R2 to R1 from R2 to R1 R1 will route the traffic to R4 R4 will see that he can reach R1 so he can reach uh, his loop back interface when the pins hits the loopback interface and uh, come back to uh, to uh, the interface of r4.4 uh, which is uh, 10.100.100.4 what he will see he will see this route is going to is going to 10.100.100.2 so he's looking at his routing interface wow of course it's directly connected so what he will do is will send our request to 10.100.100.2 and nothing will come back so everything will break and let's just prove that IP route will make specific route for R2 so uh, 
10 to the 100 to the 100 dot 2 exactly can be reached from 10 to the 100 to the 100 dot 1 so more specific route will show us will show in the uh, routing table which is this so now let's make a ping uh, sorry full connectivity I don't know what happened maybe it's Seth doing it uh, its work so uh, you can see that now we have for reachability because we prevent our form from send our request to uh, the uh, interface of R2 what about R3 if we ping R4 now fail let's make another static mapping just like we do static mapping in uh, in uh, frame relay they are in the same they are in the same uh, let's say in the same subnet but they are uh, in uh, the frame relay so what else we can do we can make static route in all uh, in all uh, routers so to go to 3 to the 5 go to 10.100.100.1 to go to R4 go to also to 1 also here IP route 10.100.100.3 go to R1 if you want to reach R4 also go to R1 so we have full reachability let's ping ping 2.2.2.2 let's ping 4.4.4 sorry 3.3.3.3 sorry full reachability now let's jump in to what let's jump in to ospf exit let's make default let's uh, it is back to its default uh, interface and no ip uh, sorry no router eigrp eigrp no router GRP one default default interface FA zero dash zero no router EIGRP one Uh, default interface FA 0 0-0 and default interface FA 0 Just we have here the static routes only. Now uh, we can say a router OSPF one network uh, everything everything will be in area zero. Thank you. A router OSPF 
one uh, network uh, you can see also this dot zero and you can see this area zero and also you need this oh sorry this is r3 so r3 is loop back and also you can say a router ospf1 network 10.100.100.2 just only this is specific interface and network 2.2.2.2 just only this specific interface and here we'll go to router OSPF1 network 10.100.100.1 area 0 network um, 1.1.1.1.0.0.0 which is specific area 0 so let's see R2 Let's just wait enough time to to build the neighbors up. Why make uh, it takes uh, too long? Because not so uh, specific that we are using. Uh, the type of uh, broadcast in our network so it's not ethernet uh, fully uh, this network so oh sorry we make a default interfaces so we need uh, to uh, to go to the interface zero zero and say IP address Ten dot one hundred. Oh, sorry. Dot one hundred. Dot one. And interface F A zero dash zero. I B address ten dot one hundred. Dot one hundred. Uh, sorry. I just want to something here. I will tell you why. Dot uh, two. Now we will do the IP address here. We'll wait some time. Uh, it takes more than usual, so it's okay. So from loading to full. So let's take a look uh, in our routing table. We have just only one. One loopback interface uh, is loopback of R4. Why that just happened? We know that we are using uh, Ethernet. 
we are using uh, the Ethernet and uh, because of the type of broadcast so we have DR and PDR so uh, if we take a look we will see that the DR is R4 show IP OSPF neighbors we can see that the DR is R4 because uh, he has the uh, he has uh, the full uh, let's say full view or full database of uh, the network so every router needs anything shall be communicate with uh, R4 show IP route nothing those are the static routes we configure it uh, from the previous configuration uh, nothing also here show IP route nothing show IP route nothing just static and we have oh sorry this is R4 we have the the uh, loopback interface of R1 what should we do we should uh, go why he chose uh, R4 as a DR because R4 has the higher loopback interface which is R which is 4.4.4.4 but R1, 1.1.1.1 so he uh, de deserve to be uh, the, the DR if we go to interface and say IP OSPF we can change uh, we can change the priority to, uh, to be R1 uh, so we can say this priority is 0 and we can take uh, we can do that so uh, the hop will be uh, the high priority by doing this by doing this by doing this we uh, will be sure that nobody of those uh, routers will be the DR uh, and uh, R R1 will be the DR uh, of uh, the network. So they are they are all DR others. But if we see show IP route, now we can see that uh, we have a full uh, blown uh, IP uh, full uh, blown uh, reachability of the whole network. Now can we ping? Uh, two to two, uh, sorry, three to three to three to three. Let's see. Mm, we can't. Why is that? Why we can't ping R uh, three? Because if we take a look at show IP route, uh, three to three to three to three. What we will see, we will see that uh, it's reached via uh, 10.100.100.3, but we are in private VLAN. We can't reach 10.100.100.3, so we'll send our request to uh, to get the MAC address of the interface of R3, but we will get nothing because we are in hub and spoke topology to solve this problem uh, also we have uh, just configure something will help us uh, in this uh, configuration is the static routes where we need the, the static routes we'll see just after this we'll go to r1 and we'll say that interface fast ethernet 00 IP OSPF network type point to multipoint it's point connected to multipoint not a broadcast as it is if we uh, show I uh, uh, show uh, sorry interface FA 0-0 you can see uh, sorry not this show IP OSPF interface FA 0-0 we can see that uh, 
this network type is a broadcast so it will broadcast we have dr dr this state is uh, dr other the, uh, the designated router is 1.1.1.1 and uh, uh, this all this all uh, information now what we need to go to interface fa 0-0 and say ip ospf network type point to point We'll go to R3 also, 0, 0. IP OSPF, network type, point to point. Also, IP OSPF, network type, point to point. Now, let's check uh, what happened to our routing table. Show IP route nothing of course nothing if we take a look at show IP OSPF neighbors what we see nothing uh, what do you think what happened we change just only the network type point to multi point and there is a point to point so we have mismatch we'll show IP OSPF uh, uh, interface FA 0-0 you can see that this point to multi point but look at this hello 30 if we make debug IP OSPF uh, adjacency or let's say uh, events um, I think events will be good so look at this we will say well we received 10 but our uh, timers our clock is 30 so we have mismatch we have the dead timer is 40 but ours is 120 so mismatch hello parameters from r2 r3 r4 what should we do is just so cool let's jo just go to configuration mode interface fast ethernet 0-0 ip ospf hello interval 10 okay see what happened oh slave see uh, yeah prepare database exchange uh, loading to full so let's just say you all let's undebug all we can say that uh, we are slaves negotiation done uh, just say uh, show IP OSPF neighbors full we are full we are in complete reachability to all other uh, to all other uh, um, let's say uh, all other neighbors show IP route Oh, look at this routing is no block we reach it from dot one not dot three three dot three dot three dot three reach via uh, uh, via fast ethernet zero zero now what will help us this will uh, have the same problem when we uh, configure EIGRP so we will send the ping request it will go to R1 R1 will send it to R R3 will send it to its loopback 3.3.3.3 but when it comes back to R2 uh, to R2's uh, uh, interface will, uh, R3 will try to send our request to get its uh, Ethernet uh, MAC address so it will send our request but it will fail so we'll have the same problem but uh, fortunately we configure r3 uh, with a static route from the previous configuration static route to r2 static route to r4 let's ping r3 full but if we come here just to prove that configure terminal and we see we say that 
for uh, this route just let's remove r2 uh, static route or mapping let's say failed so let's bring it back ping for reachability uh, uh, I won't say that well I cheat uh, just uh, a little about that why you need this uh, this video just to show you why we need uh, to change the type of interfaces in OSPIA uh, why we need mapping for ELGRB in broadcast network or in Ethernet network so I uh, just uh, show you the glory of VLANs which is considered to be uh, boring in configuration I show you that there is a lot of configuration to be done uh, when just make a little adjustment to our topology our, or our physical uh, layer or data link layer so maybe you will not need to run routing protocols over private VLANs but of course you will need to understand the type of interfaces interfaces for uh, ELGRP uh, sorry for OSPF and uh, you will need uh, to be sure that why we need uh, static routes for ELGRP or why we need mixed hop self for ELGRP and uh, that's all from me thank you for watching nice time